So good morning students. Today we are going to see about uh, heat and temperature. So what are the things we are going to study in this lesson is the principles of thermometer, how to measure uh, temperature using thermometer and different types of thermometers and different units of thermometer or temperature. So introduction, uh, mostly you will shiver when it is very cold outside sometimes you will uh, get sweat when it is very hot so how we are going to uh, read or measure a temperature so ne romba cool a irukra neram adhu malai kalathula vaathina ungalku romba kulura unga body heat vande anda kulura unaru ne edhe edhu vande veil kaalam summer vaathina romba wear away a irukum so appo vande heat jaasti a irukum ungalku idhu eppadi nam measure panna porom abingiradha da padikka porom so the measurement of warmness or coldness of a substance is known as its temperature so it is a measure of average kinetic energy of a particles in a object temperature is related to how fast the atom within a substance are moving so and the movement today a speedness vachi da temperature enna pandrathu find out pandrom inga vandu rendu example kuduthirukom one is liquid another one is gas so liquid la gas la vandu evlo fast ah move avudhu abingiradha paakala liquid vandu slow ah da move avo whereas gas vandu bayangara fast ah enavo move avo okay so temperature units uh, nearly three temperature units are there first one is degree celsius adha uh, celsius abingiradha nam enna solluvo c abdin indicate pannuvo or we will read as degree for example ninga 20 degree celsius abdin solluvo 20 and the 0 mela potu c abingiradha podalam so it is 20 degree celsius illana innone centigrade abdin solluvanga okay so next one is fahrenheit fahrenheit is written as uh, degree f that is 0 f abdin solli so for example 25 uh, degree f that is it is 25 uh, degree fahrenheit okay another one is called kelvin kelvin is written as k for example 100 kelvin that is 100 k it is read as 100 kelvin and the unit si unit of temperature is kelvin that is denoted by k so now we are going to see about how to measure a temperature the temperature of an object is uh, well approximated with the kinetic energy of the substance the high temperature means that the molecules within the objects are moving at a fast rate molecules in any substance are very small to analyze and calculate its movement that is kinetic energy in order to measure its temperature so in a thermometer when a liquid gets heat it expands and it is cooled down it contracts it is used to measure temperature like solid and liquid object the effect of heat is also observed on gaseous objects So now we are going to study about thermometer. Thermometer is the most common instrument to measure temperature. Nigga paathirukla hospital ponalo illana chala companies la thermometers irukku. There are various kind of thermometers uh, which is used by uh, mercury sometimes by alcohol. Mostly alcohol and mercury are used in thermometers. as they remain in liquid form even with a change of temperature nige alcohol and mercury pathigala temperature change aala kuda adhe illavo adude thalmai vandu enna seiyaru maathikadu so idhanaladha illa podrom appadila nama alcohol iyo mercury iyo nama enna seiyara use pandrom a small change in temperature causes a change in volume of a liquid we measure this temperature by measuring expansion of liquid in thermometer so properties of mercury so mercury ude property paapo it is expansion is uniform uh, it is opaque uh, and shiny so konja vala vala nu irukko milungo ungalku it does not stick in the side of the glass tube and the glass tube la ena cheyadu ottadu okay adanal da nam adha use pandrom ottichila illa ho paadi heat ay varumbodhe agiya nilugidum namalku reading theriyadu so it is good contact of heat it is also a high boiling point uh, 357 degree த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் செவன்டி ஃபிஃப்டி செவன் டிகிரியில் தான் என்ன ஆகும் அதுக்கு பாயிலிங் பாயிண்ட் பட் வாட்டருக்கு ஹண்ட்ரட்ல பாயிலிங் பாயிண்ட் ஸோ அதனால தான் எல்லாம் வச்சுரும் அதை யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் ஓகே ப்ராப்பர்டிஸ் இஸ் ஆல்கால் சிமிலர்லி த ஃப்ரீசிங் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல்கால் இஸ் லெஸ் தென் மைனஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டிகிரி அதனால தான் அதை நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் 
So in expansion per degree Celsius rise in temperature is very large. It is be colored brightly and hence it is easily visible. Then uh, types of thermometer. There are ne three uh, types of thermometers are available. So that we will study one by one. So clinical thermometer. These thermometer are used to measure the temperature of human body at home, cleaning, hospital, lala, nika bathar piya. So all clinical thermometer have a kin. Kin abdingra or a chin or a tadpu marirko on the thermometer la. As then upon our dinner, temperature yarn a capro, then reduce panodama abdivachirko. So as another lama easier than a chemudio, read panodio. Then lama in a chino, we have to shake. As then never shake panona, then a hero. Marudia the potion condro. So alert in the nabu mari alerco. So the, there are uh, temperature scales on either side of the mercury thread. One in Celsius scale and another in Fahrenheit scale. Okay, one in Celsius layer ko niya na image la pata tere. Since the Fahrenheit scale is more sensitive than the Celsius scale, body temperature is measured in Fahrenheit only. Fahrenheit la na lamang cholo ninety four Fahrenheit ninety seven grado nta average temperature. Okay. So precautions to be followed while using a clinical thermometer. Thermometer should be washed before and after use. So, that is the antiseptic solution. Mix it. Jerk the thermometer few times to bring the level of the mercury down before use. The mercury level should be below 35 or 94 degrees Celsius. So, that is the light and shake. Do not hold the thermometer by its bulb. bulb Keep the thermo mercury level along your line of sight and then take the reading. Handle the thermometer with help. Uh, if it is heats against some hard object, it will broken. Do not place the thermometer in hot flame or in the hot sun. So this is the precaution. Then laboratory thermometer. This is the kin. Okay? The chin is not the This is the area. Okay? So, laboratory thermometer are used to measure the temperature in school, other laboratories for scientific research. They are also used in industry as they can measure higher than what clinical th thermometer can record. The stem and the bulb of lab thermometer are longer when compared to that clinical thermometer and there is no kin in the lab thermometer. A laboratory thermometer has only Celsius scale ranging from minus 10 degree to 110 degree. Okay. The precaution to be followed while using a laboratory thermometer. Do not tilt the thermometer while measuring the temperature. tilt Note the reading only the bulb is surrounded by substance from all sides. So So digital thermometer. So nowadays this is very famous digital thermometer. Here is a lot of concern over the use of mercury in thermometer. Mercury is a toxic substance and it is very difficult to dispose if a thermometer breaks. That's why it's a toxic substance. It's a toxic substance. It's a toxic substance. These days, digital thermometers are available which is not use mercury. Instead of it has uh, a which is measured the heat coming out of the body directly or from other measured temperature of the body. Okay. Digital thermometer are mainly used uh, to take the uh, body temperature. So this is another uh, thermometer, infrared thermometer which is available nowadays. No scales of thermometer. Celsius scale. Celsius is a common unit of measuring temperature time after, so it is astronomer. Andrew Celsius in uh, 1742, before that it was known as centigrade as thermometer using this scale or calibrator from 0 degree to 100 degree boiling point. So he is the uh, Andrew Celsius. In Greek, centium means 100 and grade as means steps. Both words make it a centigrade and later it becomes Celsius. Fahrenheit scale is a common 
uh, you need to measure in human body temperature. It is stamped after the name German physicist Daniel Gabriel Farragut. Freezing point of water is taken as 32 degree Farragut and boiling point is 212 degree Farragut. And next one is Kelvin. Kelvin scale is stamped after Lord Kelvin. It is SI unit of measuring temperature and written as K. So this is the example. This is a freezing point in uh, Fahrenheit 32, Celsius D0, Kelvin 273. Similarly, the boiling point is Fahrenheit 212, uh, Fahrenheit Celsius 100, Kelvin uh, 373. So different uh, units with the different measure points. So these are the main peoples who are uh, discovered these thermometers and some known factors. The temperature of universe in the earliest moment after the Big Bang is 10 power 32 Kelvin. So how uh, great this is. And 373 is the boiling point in Kelvin. And 329 Kelvin is the hottest natural temperature even recorded on Earth. And 310 Kelvin is the average human body temperature. And these are in Kelvin, 273 Kelvin, freezing point of water. 178 Kelvin, coolest natural temperature ever recorded on Earth. And 1 Kelvin, the Boomerang Nebu, uh, Nebula maintains the coolest known natural temperature in the universe. 0 Kelvin, absolute 0 temperature. So these are the sum of the example. Thermometer liquid expand when heated. And numerical problem. So we have some problems. How much will temperature of 68 Fahrenheit will be in the Celsius and Kelvin? So solution, so Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 9 equal to C divided by 5, that is Celsius. So Fahrenheit here 68 minus 32 divided by 9. So C is equal to 5 into 36 divided by 9, that is 20 degrees Celsius. Similarly, Kelvin, this is C plus 273. So you have to add the Celsius and the Kelvin minimum, okay. So another example, if a temperature is in Celsius, then temperature Fahrenheit will be the same. So this is the formula. So temperature Celsius and Fahrenheit will be same at 40, okay, minus 40. So this is another how to convert Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Another one is convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. This is another example how to convert Kelvin to Fahrenheit. Okay, students, I think you may understand some uh, temperature and heat concept. Thanks for watching. Please like my channel, uh, like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.